What's up everybody? Welcome to Under the Arch Sports. I'm Eric Hobbs and today we're going to talk about Joshua Manning, the newest Missouri Tiger football commitment. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're closing in on a thousand subscribers on YouTube and I'd love it if you guys helped us out. So uh, thanks in advance guys. Josh, Joshua Manning, he is a wide receiver out of Lee Summit High School. He is six foot two, 195 pounds. That's what Rivals has him at. And he's a four-star recruit, according to both Rivals and 24-7 Sports. Rivals.com, they have him as the 12th best player in the state of Missouri. And 24-7 Sports, they have him seventh. So highly touted either way. His uh, statistics in 2021, pretty impressive. Anytime a high school kid has 900 yards receiving and 11 touchdowns, uh, it's going to get people's attention, uh, especially when that's added to the fact that he also did some work in the return game. Uh, that included a, an 85-yard touchdown return uh, during the season. Now, if things go the way Mizzou fans are hoping, Luther Burden's going to have the return job, I, I think, uh, for a good chunk of Joshua Manning's career, but... It's always good to have options, especially if something were to happen to Burton. So that's that's good uh, for Manning and for Mizzou there. When you look at the schools that offered him, uh, that they the, the competition to get Manning, uh, you're talking about Arkansas, Iowa, Kansas State, Michigan State, Nebraska, Notre Dame, Stanford, Washington, Wisconsin, and a number of others. Um, two things stood out to me looking at the offer list. The first thing I noticed, every school in the bubble kind of surrounding Kansas City offered. They all wanted him. So that stuck out to me. The second thing that stuck out is a lot of very good schools academically offered him. Uh, in, my, you know, in the graphic, you, you see Notre Dame, Stanford, uh, even Washington, uh, Wisconsin, but also... Uh, let's see, Vanderbilt offered, Northwestern offered. Those are good schools that aren't necessarily going to fudge too much in terms of you know, lowering standards to let guys in. So the bottom line there, Joshua Manning see, seems to me like he's probably a pretty smart kid. So that's always a great bonus to have when you're recruiting a football player. And you know, I, I took a look at his film and a few things stuck out to me. The first one is that he plays kind of big. You know, he's got pretty good size for a high school kid. We'll see how big he ends up getting. Uh, but he plays big, and I mean that in two ways. The first one is he, he, he's good at going to high point a ball when he thinks that there might, might be any sort of jump ball situation or that he needs to go up strong to get the ball to prevent it from being deflected or... You know, him being knocked around by, by a corner or what have you. So he can go up and high point the ball effectively. He also, he can take a hit. Uh, there was a, a number of plays where it seemed like, it seemed like the same thing. I, I get the feeling that the coaching staff at Lee Summit High School loves using a tunnel screen on, uh, on Josh Manning to, you know, just have him catch the ball, parallel to the line of scrimmage, immediately turn up field. Typically to the left of the quarterback, I noticed. Um, that's neither here nor there, but the point is, with that route, you're catching it near the line of scrimmage, usually in traffic. He was able to bounce off of defenders, and the first guy did not bring him down. He was able to, to shake that off, continue with his, with uh, you know, just running, make a move, and get to the end zone, or down the field anyway. So, that's a good thing uh, that you know, the first guy typically is not the one to bring him down, uh, at least once he gets a, a little bit of a head of steam going. Uh, as far as his head of steam, he's got pretty good acceleration. He has good, not quite elite speed. Uh, he does track, and he's he's got an 11.1 100-meter dash under his belt this past season, and he can run the 200 and low 22s. That's... That's probably all conference speed. It's not all state speed, um, but that's that, that is 
kind of fast. That's pretty fast for a football player. Just maybe not Marquise Johnson, but a half step below. So that's good. And as I mentioned, uh, he is capable of being a return man. So that adds some flexibility to his game and potentially, you know, take some of the pressure off of Luther Burden if, you know, if he's banged up or for some reason Coach Drink does not want to have Burden back there. So that's good. Uh, what this means for Missouri is, honestly, had a, Mizzou has had a rough stretch in recruiting. They've lost out on a number of commitments that they invested a lot in. So it's good to get a recruiting win, kind of, you know, stop the bleeding and kind of restart a little bit of the momentum. Maybe this, uh, maybe this gets the ball rolling for some other kids to kind of say, you know what, heck with it, I'm jumping on board. That Maybe that can happen. Um, as far as anything else with Missouri, well, is the eighth known commitment. Three of those eight are four stars. So uh, once again, drink doing pretty solid work there. And with the wide receiver core, this is turning into a loaded group, um, especially if some of the other receivers in the class of 22 besides Luther Burden, if they turn out like, uh, like the coaching staff thinks they will, it's, it's going to be loaded, which that will breed great competition. And it'll also mean that if someone is injured or just needs a blow for a couple of plays, there's not going to be a big fall off. And that's the key to winning big in the SEC is having the depth to when you take one piece away, the whole thing doesn't fall apart. So for the wide receiver group, they're all, I think they're almost there to being you know, top of the SEC caliber, I think. Um, a lot of that is recruiting on paper, but we'll see. So, Joshua Manning, newest Missouri football commitment. Congrats to him. Congrats to Coach Drink. That's all I've got for this video, guys. Uh, keep checking us out for more, uh, more updates on the St. Louis Cardinals. Any potential St. Louis Blues uh, trading or offseason moves that might happen. And keep it here as Mizzou football season is just around the corner. Thanks for checking out this video. Hope to see you guys next time.